Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Blade Number 1, a red band release from Marvel Comics. Uh, it is written by Brian Edward Hill, artist C.F. Avila, color by Yava Tartaglia, lettering by Clayton Cowles. And if I mispronounce any of that, I, I pronounce, or I uh, apologize. So, for those who don't know, Blade was the villain in the recent Blood Hunt uh, storyline. Where the villain, or the, the vampires, lashed out and basically attacked the world. Of course, we found out that Blade was uh, taken on by a, a demonic entity. Not too shocking. I think everyone saw that coming. So this picks up after that, and Blade has now um, basically like is is in hiding. Not really. It's more self self uh, uh, exile. He's off hanging uh, and uh, feeling all guilty for what happened. Of course, someone comes upon, calls upon him to go and fight some big evil, or kind of tease what the evil is, and Blade, you know, has to decide whether or not uh, he wants to come out of hiding, retirement, guilt, whatever. Um, it's good. Uh, so my, my experience with Blade, we'll start with that. Uh, I, I remember uh, when Marvel went, like, all... Uh, horror in the 90s. He had Midnight Suns and Blade and Darkhold and Ghost Rider and I think that was like kind of the, like the core of it. I'm not a horror fan. Some of those comics for some reason scared the shit out of me. Again, not a horror fan. And I actually love to go back and reread those and see if they are like as disturbing and weird as, as I remember. Um, but like I, I enjoyed Blade for the most part. Like the you know vampire hunting didn't really bother me at all. The Blade film with Snipes absolutely loved it. I will say I love the entire trilogy, even the the horrible parts to it. But you know I, I enjoy it. Blade in recent times, like times I like it, sometimes I don't. You know it's it's totally legit of just a character where like you know I, I might read here and there. Uh, but not one that, like, I go out and definitely want to check out. But I'm really kind of intrigued to see what Blade as a Red Band comic would be. And this, like, don't get me wrong, the story is decent. Like, all of it is decent. It kind of, for some reason, reminds me a little bit kind of more of the 90s and in, in style and story and all that. But I don't think it qualifies as, like, a Red Band. There's nothing, well, I can see probably why they made it Red Band. But to me, it is not over-the-top, bloody, like, Blood Hunt had more moments that were, like, holy crap, red band worthy than this. Like, there's some blood, there's some decapitation, and that's probably what gets the red band. But at the same time, like, I feel like I've seen some of this in just normal Marvel comics. So, to me, like, nothing jumps out that it's so over the top that it should be red band. Red band, to me, is, like, should be rated R. Like, 90s horror, not 90s R, like, 80, 90s horror blood, guts, like, stuff where you're sitting there going, oh, that's twisted. This, like, feels kind of tame. Um, and I would say, like, my thoughts on it are very similar to the, the first Blood Hunt where I was just like, okay, there's, like, a page or a panel that I can see why it was polybagged red band. But overall, like, it's it's not that bad. And to me, this is a lot, a lot like that. Um, and what I'm afraid of is that we're going to see Marvel slapping the red band banner on stuff that's like, you can understand why they did it, but at the same time, it doesn't really cross, like, that rated R. Like, it's definitely PG-13, and if there was something between PG-13 and R, I could see that, like, 16 and up or something like that. But it's not quite to the point of being like, no, you need to be an adult. Like, you need 18 and up. Like, to me, a red band is like 18 and up or is where you need to be. Um, and just nothing about this, like, really gets to that, to that point. I mean, maybe future issues do. But, like, this one, it, there's some stuff that's weird. There's some stuff that's, like, some decent horror. Like, some cool character designs. But, like, nothing that jumps out where I'm sitting there going, hey, this is, like, really graphic. And little kids shouldn't read this. I mean, little kids shouldn't read it. But, like... If a 13 or 14 year old can deal with horror, nothing like this is pretty tame for I think other stuff that's out there. Um, the art is good. Like there's there's some cool moments, as I said. There's some good action. Like you really get like a good leave me the hell alone loner vibes on this, um, which is is cool. Uh, and you know I think the other thing is nice is like if if you've read Blood Hunt and know what's up, like this is a nice continuation. If you haven't read Blood Hunt, you like. Okay, Blade's in exile, and that's about what you need to know. 
Uh, so overall, like I, I, I think it's a decent start. It's going to be interesting to see like, where this goes. I don't think it necessarily is red band worthy. At, at, that's where it's at. So if you're expecting like lots of blood and guts and some crazy stuff, which is kind of what I was expecting with Blade, I mean, like the Blade film has more in it than this. Like this, the opening scene where Blade just rips through the rave is more graphic than what's in this. So, you can go get this, though. It is out in shops. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell if a shop is near you. No shop, no problem. we got some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. And by doing that, you help support our site. So, thank you for that. And speaking of support, just watching your video support us as always. So, thank you. If you're in the comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky. You know, I have pretty much everywhere. All at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So, until next time, keep reading those comics. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. You name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.